What's up, YouTube? It's Ghostwriter15 here, back at it again with another hat format video. That's right, hat format. I know I haven't played hat format in a while, but the hat format world championship is happening right now, and I'm going to be doing a dual review video of one of my matches that I recently played. So, yeah, without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. So I win the RPS, I'm going to be going first. In half format, you still draw six. So I open up a hand of Arsenal, Mermilio, MK2, Maxi, Accelerator, and Upstart. So with this hand, I'm thinking about summoning Arsenal, tributing it for Girgiano, uh, Girgiano effect. Special Summon Arsenal back, Special Summon Accelerator. That way, I have a, a Girgian X on the field that can revive uh, Girgiano back if it dies. So that's what I try to do. Use the effect. He says it's okay. He has no response. So I Special Summon. And now he chains Maxi. I wasn't actually expecting that. That caught me off guard because he didn't chain Maxi to the arsenal, so I didn't expect the Maxi, but nice job by him holding the Maxi. So now I'm in a really awkward position because I have my arsenal on the field that has its, eff its effect negated by Girgiano. And if I commit more, he's going to be drawing so many cards. So I upstart first to see what I get. It's a it's MST. Not too helpful. I just gamble it and pass. He MSTs my back row. So he just sets one monster. And his entire back row. He sets everything actually, so that's pretty rough. I draw into Gear Gear Gear. And that's a really good card in this format. So here I special summon Accelerator. Go into Gear Gigan X. He's thinking. He bottomless is me. But I get back your Giano because it's in the graveyard. Next up I go MK2. Special summon Arsenal. I know I'm playing a mirror match, so I go ahead and summon Alucard. I can't let Giga Armor resolve in the mirror match because that card's insane if it keeps flipping itself face down and face up. It turns out to just be an accelerator, and that tells me his hand is kind of bad. So I tribute my arsenal, get my own armor, set him down. Set my gear to gear. I pass turn. Here he activates his own uh, gear to gear. I don't chain Max C because I'd Max C is only going to be a one for one. And next turn he's going to go off if I use this Max C right now. So it's better to hold the Max C, I think. And here on the standby phase, I Max C because it, it puts him in an awkward position because if he goes off. I'm going to draw so many cards. And if he doesn't special summon at all, then I can run over these two monsters. He goes for Honor Arc. Which is decent here. He runs over my armor. I get Accelerator to my hand. He sets a monster, and on my end phase, I go Gear to Gear. But unfortunately, he has wiretap. I draw to MST, which is really nice here. Here, he has another Giga Gear. So I'm going to try to max C here so I can draw and hopefully draw into a Giga Monster so I can special summon Accelerator and go for uh, Exciter Knight. I draw to upstart. 
I draw into Giga Gear. So here I go, Mermelio, get a bottomless, just to try to defend myself. Unfortunately, I have to let that armor resolve. He goes for Gear Giga next. I have to bottomless set. He gets back his Gurgiano, tributes his Gurgiano for Accelerator, and makes another Gear Giga next. Gets back MK2. MK2 effect. And then Soul Silver Mountain is so good in this deck. Like, you can shut down back row, destroy a monster, and special summon in any earth in your graveyard, which is really nice. So I draw into Arsenal, which is another Gear Gear monster, and now I'm able to go for Excited Knight. But before I go for Excited Knight, I have this Gear 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 that I can use as long as I get rid of this Soul of Silver Mountain. So I thought about it for a while, and the play I decided to go for is Honor Arc. And then I honor arc the Soul Silver Mountain. Activate Gear Gear Gear. Special summon my MK2s. And now I go for Excited Knight. He's gonna special, but I'm gonna run it over by battle. He just sets a monster and passes. Here, I decide to attack. And I think my opponent makes a misplay here. So, by searching with Girga Armor during my turn, that puts him at more cards than I do. And that lets me trigger my Excited Knight's effect to get rid of this Girga Armor. If he just didn't search flipped his monster face down and back up during his turn, then I wouldn't be able to excite and knight him. So I just set my own armor and pass. He just sets a monster and a back row and passes. I draw Dark Hole, which is not that great right now. So I get my search. Get Accelerator, Special Summon Accelerator. So here I just go Gear Giga X. And I get MK2 so I can go ahead and summon my own Soul of Silver Mountain, I believe. Yeah. Both are going to trigger. I get my armor. Attack with Excited Knight and attack with Gear Giga next. Set armor and pass. And now he draws his own MK2. And here he goes for Zen Mains. He decides to just put it in defense. Never mind, he puts it in attack. Attacks into my Soul Silver Mountain. And here he pops this whole Silver Mountain. So here, I don't want to hard commit to the field because I'm afraid of something like Torrental or Mirror Force. I start off by getting my MK2 and then flipping my armor. Just getting myself some nice card advantage before I commit to anything else. I just attack. Because if, if it happens to be Mirror Force, worst case scenario is Gear Giga Next just special summons a level 3 
And then main phase two, I follow up with a uh, my own exceed play. All three attacks go through, so no mirror force. I don't have to worry about that anymore for now. So I just set armor and pass. He sets a monster, passes it back to me. Here I decide to commit into the to the field and that was a misplay on my part. I should have played around to rental. I was doing it for a while and I just decided not to anymore, which is bad. So yeah, that was a mistake. All you had was a set DD Crow. I could have won that turn. He DD Crows my Gurgiano and just I just set break the skill and pass. So it's a back row. I have MK2. MK2 effect. I'm going to exceed here to try to go for game. And that turns out to be game. I take game one. So my hand is Accelerator, Gigiano, Upstart, Romelio, and MST. Not bad, but not amazing. He sets everything but one card and passes. Keep in mind, in hat format, for those of you who don't know, Heavy Storm is banned, so doing this is fine. Usually. So I draw into Trap Tricks, Trap Will Nightmare, Upstart, into another Upstart. I draw the Minecon, which is absolutely insane in this matchup. So here, I Minecon first before I commit to the field, just in case uh, his monster... I want to know the, the level of the monster before I summon my own monster, because if it's a level 3... I'll summon Gurgiano. If it's a level 4, I'll summon Mermelio. Turns out to be Accelerator, so I can special my own Accelerator. But here I get hit with Flying C. I was not expecting this at all. Like, not even close. This was like the last thing on my mind. I know this card's good in other formats, like Duelist Alliance. But I, I've hardly ever seen this card get played in half format before. It catches me by surprise, for sure. So, now I just go ahead and summon Mermelio. Use Mermelio effect. He hits me with a Phoenix Chain and I just MST that. I search for Bottomless. And now I just attack because I can't even exceed anymore. Thanks to that flying C. And he just goes gear gear gear. This is looking really bad for me. Really bad. I bottomless, but gear 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 next is going to get back to gear Giano. Gear Giano gets back accelerator. He can just make another gear gear next. The power of Gear Gear. Armor to hand. He easily destroys my monsters. Sets back his arsenal or his armor. I just summon Gear Giano and summon Accelerator in defense. Set my call to Haunted and pass because there's nothing else I can really do. Like, I can crash the Flying Sea, but it's not worth it. He's just gonna go all out because why not, you know? Not much I can do about this anyway. Like, let's say I have like Torrental or Mirror Force. He has double gear Giga Next, so he's not even gonna get punished that hard. And now he's going to force out my back row.
Mamelio. And now I'm just absolutely cooked. Like I I'm left with a Gurgiano in my hand. So I draw MK2, which isn't gonna do anything. Like best I can do is crash the flying sea, special Gurgiano, make 10 tempo, detach material from Gurgigan X. But that's not going to be enough because here comes Silent Honor Arc. Or uh, actually, he goes for Ragna Zero, which is really good because he's going to draw a card for that. Yeah, this one's pretty much over. We're going to game three. So game three, I open up Gear Gear, Gear Mermelio, Arsenal, Girgiano, Armor, and Kalahaned, which is a really decent hand. I just I would prefer not to draw the Girgiano, but still a strong hand. So I set two, and here he summons Arsenal, and as soon as he summons Accelerator, I knew. I knew I screwed up because I didn't take into consideration that he can go excited night turn one. Like I know I can do it. I know I can do it as well because I played gear gear, but for some reason I just, I just blanked out and yeah, I forgot that gear gear is like one of the few decks that can actually go excited night right away. So I'm going to end up getting punished real hard right here because I, I have nothing to stop that. I'm going to lose my entire board. He says three and I draw into Torrental, which gives me some sort of hope. I go Mermilio. The reason I go Mermilio is because I don't want to go armor and uh, if he summons like MK2 and I'm forced to Tyrannal, I don't want to have to lose my armor. So I just go for Mermilio to get the bottomless. Here I just got to hope that he commits into the Tyrannal. I take 300 but... Unfortunately for me, he doesn't commit. I draw Miss C. And now I just go ahead and go for the Arsenal because I don't think my opponent's going to commit into it. Here I go for Accelerator rather than Armor. And maybe this was a mistake because I guess it like makes it too obvious that I have Toronto set. But yeah. Here he goes, MK2, and as soon as he does that, I'm thinking I'm in a really good spot because I'm going to Torrental here, and as soon as I Torrental, I get hit with Wiretap, unfortunately. He attacks, I get back my MK2. He attacks again with Excited Knight. Sets his armor, passes. I draw Mermilio. I MSC the back row. Go for MK2. I'm going to go ahead and go for uh, Alucard. Because if that armor resolves, the game's pretty much done. I'm getting cooked right now. I draw into armor. But, as you can see, I have two MK2s in my graveyard and Girgiano in my hand. So, yeah, I can't even resolve this. This is looking really bad.
At this point, I have to hope that he fumbles like really bad. But my opponent extra power is really good at half format, so I don't think it's gonna happen. So I just go ahead and use the Trap Chicks Trap Hole Nightmare. And I draw into Arsenal, and that's pretty much it. Game's over. So, yeah, I I threw this one. I could have probably won if I kept ex um, kept the uh, my call of the haunted in my hand. But it was gonna be a tough one for me anyway, because. His hand was really strong as well. So, yeah, that's the video. If you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. This is Ghost Rider 15 signing out.